Hello, I'm Doug Shepard from J&D Fitness Group. Today's video, we're going to discuss can you do a butt bridge using a chair? And the answer to that is yes. You can use a chair, you could use a stability ball, you could use a bench. But today I'm going to demonstrate with the chair. For most people, it's something they have right around the house. And it's a great movement you can do. It's going to strengthen your glutes. And it's pretty convenient and easy. Most people, again, should incorporate this in their lower body workouts. And it will also assist people who are having lower back issues. Typically, they're not engaging and using their glutes enough. As with any floor exercises, I would recommend using a mat since you'll be lying on the ground. Once we get down on the ground, you have an option. I recommend to start with a wide arm base, and then as you become more efficient, you can progress it by gradually drawing your arms in. What that's going to do is narrow your base, okay? It's going to put more engagement into your core musculature. Okay. Let's get started. I'm going to reposition the chair, and then we're going to get in the ground and start into our butt bridges. When you lie down, you're going to position your heels on the bench. We're not putting our feet flat. And you'll notice it's a short range of motion. What we're doing is what's called hip extension, and that's opening the hips, engaging the glutes. But we don't want to go too far up, because at that point, we'll start to pull on the lumbar spine. And we're not trying to make this a back exercise. We're trying to keep our glutes or our butt involved in the movement. Now for today, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go with a wide arm base. But again, as I mentioned, you can gradually bring it in over time for your progression. That's how you would go from a beginner, intermediate, up to an advanced butt bridge using the chair. You're going to lie back. Make sure that your knees and your toes are pointing up. A lot of people have a tendency, once they start to flex their hamstrings, they rotate the feet out. We want to make sure we maintain our neutral alignment. Also, make sure to keep the head up. If you notice, I'm not going to turn and rotate my head or look to the side. So even though we're lying down, we're thinking of posture, we're going to maintain our neutral alignment. Now, coming through the heels, to start the movement, I'm going to first take a deep breath, and I'm going to lift my hips up. As I do that, I'm going to exhale, and I'm going to inhale as I lower. I'm going to keep tension on my glutes or my butt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower, but I'm not coming completely down to the ground. I'm lowering where I'm about an inch from the, from the ground. Exhaling as I lift, inhaling as I lower. Knees and toes are neutral. And again, we're not going through too much range of motion to engage our lumbar or our lower back. I would recommend for beginners doing anywhere from 10 to 12 repetitions and try that for two sets. An intermediate would like to progress into 15 repetitions for two sets. And then for an advanced crowd, you're going to want to go anywhere from three to four sets of 15 repetitions. Also, again, remember to put more balance demands, gradually draw the hands in. So that's how you do a butt bridge using a chair.